Okay guys, it's a bright day out there, which means it's time for another episode of Interspecies Reviewers, episode 5. Now, before I get into that episode, let me just tell you, I need something to get off my chest about Interspecies Reviewers. It's not the show, it's the people out there that have a problem with the show. We're talking Funimation removed it from standards because of the standards. Japan, they removed it from the stations. Amazon removed it because it's too etchy. I'm going to put it in my words, not the phone article, but in, in my words, it's saying it's too etchy. It's sexual harassment towards women. It's all because they're going to reviews and rating women. Okay, let me just tell you this. First of all, us, we don't, I like, well, what's the problem with too much fan service in anime like come on guys you guys can't handle your thing like come on you guys can't just watch a show that has a minor or major fan service are you kidding me monster misune has fan service people are okay with that it was like mid-tier fan service penny and stockings that's a fan service anime. It was like mid tier stuff. But when you talk about, we're talking about like low tier mid fan service like Cat Planet Cuties, Girls Bravo, you know, or even those high, or like Seki Ray. But, but high tier fan service shows like one of the classics, if not two of the, two of the highest, highest, highest paid fan service in anime. The High School DXD and Shin Memao no Testament. Those are the two high tier fan service. Cause we saw what we saw what bosses have been doing with the girls. We see Issei doing with the girls, and everybody's like, okay, everybody's like, okay with that. Yet, yet they dubbed it. Yet they watched it. I mean, like, what's the problem? Hell, even Fairy Tale has. Fan service. Even though it's not edgy, it still shows fan service, yet we watch Fairy Tale. I don't know what's going on out there in the world that people have a problem with this show. All this show it does, it's rate girls. They go to brothels and they rate on different types of monster species. I mean, inner species girls. That's all they do. I mean, we rate about girls all the time. We rate every freaking monster girl. We rate our favorite Santa Scout here in terms of like least favorite to most favorite who we want to smash or pass out of it. Unlike me, like Mer I like Sailor Mercury, my least favorite Sailor Venus. But you see my point. So I don't see the problem with this. All they do is go to brothels and they rate girls. That's all they do. And sexual harassment towards women. I don't see nothing wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm trying to say is all they do is like, I'm just saying it's a good storyline. It's a good storyline. And the only reason I'm just saying this you talking about too edgy? Have them watch your amount of testament. You tell me that what's better. You tell me what's what's more edgy. Sheer amount of testament or this. High school DXD or this. That's all I'm gonna say. But whew, sorry, I had to express it because people are just not wanna watch fan service animes. That's my problem. It, it, in other words, people out there can't handle the edginess. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Even with this edgy that has action like Seki Ray, Seki Ray got edgy harem in action. Okay, they got all that elements. But people can't watch that because it's a... But the, you see my point. But well, back to what I was saying. We're on episode 5 of Inner Species Reviewers. And then and now we're talking about two types of monster girls that really questions everybody's mood. Cyclop girls and mushroom girls. So, the story kicks off with them just sitting around, you know, just having out of their own business. Until they, while well, Meredith, you know, take out the trash, this girl in a white mask, white outfit... Came out and she gave them do one a request to do review with a mop to do review with Cyclops girls. Now here's the problem. Here's the thing. With I, you know me when I said I have taste in different monster girls, but here's the thing. Monaco from Monster Misune. You guys watch Monster Misune, you should know the Cyclops girl from Monster Misune. The Cyclops girl with the with a good sniper, like she's a good sniper. She. I get it. Her eye ain't that big. Okay, let me just point that out. Her eye ain't that big. But she's good. I'm not saying she's my least favorite monster girl, but she's one of those monster girls that you want to hang out, you know, and then make out with her. Okay. When they go to the brothel with different, with these Cyclops girls, each Cyclops girl is unique and different and have their own fetish type when it comes to Cyclops girls. Like, the little halfling girl, the little halfling guy and the angel boy, they were about to make out with a minotaur because of their boobs. I mean, who wouldn't? But they got to have a future quest and decided to go to Cyclops 
brothel. When they got there, they met this receptionist who could talk about like, oh, we have all different sizes, A cups, B cups, D, K, all that stuff. And then the half like, I want the biggest cup, biggest, big, I want the biggest cup you have. And they're like, okay, call out. And this girl, she's normal body, but she has a big eye. We're talking about a big eye. And they made a mistake because they thought the size were both the breasts, but the size were the eyes. So in other words, if you mention a G, you're talking about a big GI cup of an eye. Now here's what I said. I don't have a problem with Cyclops girls. I mean, some I may have a minor problem, but after what they review, I get it. I get it. It's kind of like the polar opposite. Like, on the one hand, we into like these girls who's like based off the flat chested to big breasted girls. Okay, we get all of that. But when you're talking about from a from a small AI to a giant eye, there's a difference. But that's the thing, it all depends on, and not only that, it depends on the size, the, the perfect body structure of the of a Cyclops girl. Some Cyclops girls are nice, some, some, some it depends on your taste of a Cyclops girl. Like, do you prefer a Cy Cyclops girl with this, with a normal eye and a, uh, a normal figure like that? Okay, that's, that's one thing. Okay, now aside from that, Stunk and Zell got a perfect match. They got an eye, they got a, a girl with an AI, just a regular eye. With a small, a small eye and a perfect big breasted body. I'm like, damn, those two got it. They're lucky. And then the fairy, the fairy, then Krim got the boy, I mean, got the girl with, with a giant eye. And all he had to do was just lick that eye. And she, and, she, and then Halfling got a, a flat chested eye, giant girl eye and just put eye drops in them to get wet. But the other two, they got, they got the good ones. I mean, they, okay, average wise, they gave him a seven. Three of them gave it a seven, but the half thing gave it a four because he felt he got jinx, he got screwed. But but that's what you get. You should have just waited to hear about the eye stuff. But whose fault is that? But again, I don't have a problem with Cyclops girls. Cyclops girls are good. Now here's the thing: if you're okay with a girl with one eye, that's fine. It just it just depends on how big the eye is. Like look at and and not only that, people with different eyes. Like look at. Raphnia from Monster Machine. She got eight eyes. You know, she's a spider and all that stuff. But would you smash her? Cause she has. Would you smash her with all the multiple eyes in her? Yeah. What about Pudding from One Piece? You know when Sanji was about to marry Pudding, and then that she has three eyes, like two normal eyes and one in the center. Would you date? Would you smash Pudding? Yes, you would. Okay. And right. And then after that, we found out that the white person with the white coat is actually a Cyclops girl with a small A eye, A cup size eye, and that's. And now she's going to marry a human. Now, we're going to push out that and go to the mushrooms. Okay. My ideal of mushroom girls, it all depends on what type of mushrooms you're into. Like me. I like mushroom pizza. Those simplest mushroom pizzas, you know, like you get on a regular basis. Okay, I like that. Oh, I also like the fact that, like, talking about mushrooms, it symbolizes the man's, you know, what. And that, talking about when Stung mentioned it, Meredith slapped him in the face. So that's kind of funny. So... They wanted to eat mushrooms. Not making out with mushroom girls, but thanks to Krim's idea of them thinking that they were going to have sex with mushroom girls. They're like, okay, let's go. So they went to the forest with this little, with their fairy friend, this new character of a fairy friend, and they meet the receptionist, this mushroom girl receptionist. And she re and she looks like the receptionist from the, the fairy receptionist. They look, because they, they have experience. So... And this receptionist, she's really, this, unlike the fairy receptionist, this mushroom receptionist, she is so good at knowing what type of girls you into. Like, literally, she has that type of, type of ideas, like, she knows what you're into. She's like, when she look at stuff, she's like, you horny man, I bet you're into those, like, girls who, all this and that. And it popped out, popped out. All oh, popped out four mushrooms, and I'm like, this, I'm like, this receptionist is good. She knows the taste of a man just by looking at her. I like this receptionist, but then Stunk, you know, but when I saw Stunk got his mushroom girls, they're like four little mushroom girls. Yes, four little mushroom girls. Hello, yeah, yeah. Um, Stunk is making out with these four little mushroom girls about the height of Connor from Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid. I'm just saying, but. But after, from his experience, he gave them a nine. I mean, he gave them an eight. Props for that. And then Zell 
Zelda, oh boy, you know, he's into that sticky stuff, so he got, with his magic, he got two normal sticky mushroom girls. I would have smashed, I would smash them, because he got that. I would have done that. <laughs> and I love how each, each mushroom girl demonstrates them sucking the mushroom, and by sucking the mushroom, they mean sucking the thing, if you know, if you catch my drift. And it was real funny to see how they worked out of it. And... I like how every different type of mushroom girl got, because he got two normal sticky mushroom girls. The elf boy got like six mushroom girls, about his size. And the angel boy got like a pretty cure shy of a mushroom girl. And based off their rating, three of them gave it an eight, but that guy gave them, that little, that fairy guy gave them a nine. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And truth be honest, I would smash a mushroom girl too. I would. I would, because the like I said, the and all the the receptionists know what you're into. So yeah, it makes sense. And I like how the mushroom, I like how when they were eating the mushrooms all that stuff, and showing how the mushroom girls were sucking on it, it symbolizes the 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 mushroom symbolizes the man's you know what, and that was real funny to watch. Now and, and that last part with that mushroom squirted out of the cream face, I mean like too much. But all that creaminess of the whole mushrooms thing was hilarious. Especially at the end. The end where the old lady and the mushroom girl was showing. What, and that old lady was teaching these other mushroom girls how to lick a mushroom. And I, and when, when she did with that tongue. What that old lady did with the tongue. That tells you right there. She has experience. I'm talking about the old lady in episode one. That old lady got experience. Not that I don't have a problem with experience. But come on, that's just an old lady. But still, that's that Grandma Tsunade status. She's like the Su Hokage of the brothels. Teaching them how to lick mushrooms and all that stuff. And the fact that all these other mushroom girls were trying to do that too. She got speed. That, that old lady got speed. The other one just got normals. But still, that lady got speed. But still, I look forward for next week's episode of Inner Species Reviewers. We're halfway through the episode. We're halfway to meeting other East, different East, different... Species, especially next week, we're gonna meet a golem girl. I want to see just how rock hard these golem girls are, and they can handle a rock hard, you know what? But I can't wait to see. So I look forward for next week's episode of Any Species Reviews. And like I said, please watch this for the funniness. Don't watch it just for fans. I mean, I know the show is too much fan service, but just watch it as just a regular show with a fan service, like all the other fan service uh, G animes we watch. Just watch it as just of regular anime. That's all. So I look forward for next week's episode and I hope you will.